Hey everyone, this is Mike with Jetanim, and in this video we'll learn how to bind across pages or how to bind from a page to a model. And we've already covered the most common use cases when we bind a table to a field, a table to a form, or a table to a table, but we'll need uh, to go through uh, an additional step or additional configuration if we want to bind those components that live on separate pages or in a page and in a model. Here, I'll show you my example here. I have my uh, companies page and this is essentially has this one table and this table pretty much displayed the company's data from Airtable companies. And I have my company name, which is a completely separate page. So it has a separate name, uh, a separate URL. And here I have just one input field that I want pretty much to display the company name from the selected row. So the workflow that I'm trying to implement here is that I, I'm on this page and I click on a specific company. And when I click on a specific company, I drill down or go to this company name page. And this is where I'm shown the name of the company that I've selected on the previous page. So uh, if you follow the, the, the typical route, the route that I've shown in the previous videos, uh, in previous use case videos, and you go here into the uh, binding model, you will not find the companies table. If you go here, there is no other components section. And this is because binding works in the context of a specific page, meaning that the only UI components that are available for referencing or for fetching data from are the only ones you, that you have here on this particular page. So if we want to create this logic, we will need to first push the value, the company name from the selected row uh, in the company's table from the previous page into this page. So then when it's in the context of this page, we will be able to reference this value and it's gonna be displayed here. So to implement that, the first thing we need to do here is to go to company, uh, to page settings. And here we'll need to create a parameter. Uh, you can create as many parameters as you want and parameters pretty much, uh, they store those dynamic values that you want to pass across pages. So in my case, I can create a new, uh, a new parameter and I'll call it uh, name. And when I created this parameter here on this page, I go to the companies page and I select my companies table, navigate here to the actions section. And here I right away have this row click action that I can configure. So I click, I'll just need this one, which is navigate to page. And I choose the link or a page that I want to navigate to. So in my case, I'm in the companies page and I want to navigate to the company name page. So I choose this and right away when I created this parameter on some other page, this will be here available for referencing. Okay, so I click into this, uh, it says ask value from user, we uh, exit out. And once again, now we have access to our binding model go here to uh, table current component that's our component here and we'll need to uh, go over to this table current component so we uh, click into this and we choose the field that we want to write into this parameter and in my case uh, it's going to be company name organization name here it is so now whenever I click this row will trigger the row click action and as part of the row click action settings, it will also place the organization name value from a select row into this parameter. So the last thing that's left to do here is I go back to the company name, uh, company name page, and I now can access, can reference uh, this parameter that I've created for this page that now, when I, I mean, when I click on the row, will contain this dynamic value, uh, the company name. So I click uh, our binding model and here I have this page input section. I can also find the page inputs tab here and click onto it and have all the, uh, the list of all the parameters that I have here. And then I have only one parameter that I've created, which is name. I click and select it and that's pretty much it. So now we can uh, click preview. 
for the convenience sake and go to the companies page and test it how it works so if i click into the deal and i expect to see the deal name here in the input field on the company uh, company name page okay that works well great that was it thank you very much for watching and have a great one bye